Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to transform your Lightroom presets into LUTs. Now the reason you might want to do this is maybe you have a Lightroom preset that you've created before or you've bought and now you want to use that for video. The way you can do this is through a LUT and it's a very simple process. You do have to download a little software that will allow you to do this. It's a very small software so go ahead and download that in the link in the description. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. I'll be posting another video next week on transitions, all about transitions, in-camera transitions, how I do my transitions and then the video after that the next week I'll be posting posting another video on how I edit those transitions in the computer. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we want to do is go to this website. I'll be linking it down in the description below. It'll take you to this website and just go hit download LUT generator. It'll take you to the bottom of the page and then you can download LUT generator right here. Then here it'll take you to Selfie page. It is free but you can donate here if you want to and then click buy now. Once you do that it'll take you to your email. Once you enter your information it'll take thanks for your purchase and it'll say view order. Once you click view order it'll take you to this website and then you can download it there. Once you do download that it's 29 megabytes. I have already downloaded it there so I'm gonna go to that section here. So once you download it you're gonna get a zip file. Once you unzip it inside of it you have all of this. If you're using Mac use the Mac one. If you're using Windows go to the Windows. I'm using Windows. So I'm gonna go in here and the next thing that you want to do is just hit LUT generator and then open it up. The first thing you want to do is generate the hauled. So let's do that generate. So I'm gonna put it right into this folder select folder and then it's gonna generate. As you can see here it's called neutral and that's the one that we're gonna be using. As if you can see once I click on that there's our file that we're going to be using to convert the LUT. The next thing you want to do this is save this wherever you would want to. I'm going to name it LUT convert and then you can save that wherever you'd like to. We want to now import that to Lightroom. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that over to Lightroom and import it. Excellent. Now we have that in Lightroom. The next thing you want to do is you want to apply whatever look you want to do to that image here. Now I've got two images here that I've already edited and now we're going to apply that edit to this picture here. So let's go into the develop. Now I've got already a bunch of different LUTs that are looks like presets that I've already created but let's go ahead into one of these pictures and reset it. Um, I kind of like how the blues come out in that one so let's do that. Let's see that. So those colors are looking great for me. So once you find the look that you've created that you like and you want to keep, the next thing you want to do is copy those settings. So once you do copy, well, if you want to do that, you can do Control Shift C or right click, and then I think it's in here somewhere. I don't normally use it, so where is it? Just do Control Shift C. I'm not sure where that copy settings is. What you want to copy here? I don't copy white balance, so check off white balance. Um, you can copy down the basic tones if you'd like to. I normally don't because I like to do that in my editing software. So I'm going to take that, those off. Then you can definitely do the tone curve because that has a lot of influence in your look. Um, remove sharpening for sure. Um, keep your colors because that has a big influence. Split tones, it does. Um, remove noise reduction, we don't want that. Um, calibration, we do want. Uh, grain, we do not. Transformation, we don't. Lens corrections, no. Spot and crop, we don't. If your look does depend on the basic tone, maybe include those. For example, this picture here does have quite a bit of less contrast. You can include the contrast if you'd like, uh, but I'm not going to include the contrast for this one because I do want to be able to modify that in my video editing software. So once I do that, I'm going to copy those settings and come over here. You can also test it in another picture if you want to. Let's go to this one, reset it. And this, this is basically what it's going to look like. Control Shift V to paste those settings. And that's the look that I've created right now. And of course, it doesn't have those contrast settings. So if I bring that contrast down, we can get a similar look that we were looking at before. Something like that. So now let's go over here and apply those settings to this one. As you can see, it's applied them. There's before and then there's after. Now we want to export this image. So we're going to go export. You can select where you want to save it. I'm going to save it onto desktop and then let's go down to these settings here. These are important. We want to have it as JPEG or PNG. I'm going to have it as JPEG for 100%. So make sure that it's as, as big as you can and then 300 pixels per inch. Once we export that, we're going to go back into this software here. And then you can say convert to cube. Now before you click that, 
in the question mark here in the corner, you can choose how big your LUT is going to be. You can choose it for 25 or 64. I usually do 64. Here, if you want to read it, it tells you how big the files are going to be. A 64 LUT is going to be about 7 megabytes. So let's go convert to cube. Then you're going to go to desktop, which I am already at, and I'm going to click LUT convert, which is the one that I wanted to convert. And just by doing that, it's going to wait for a little bit. There we go, conversion is done. We're gonna click OK, and now you can see it's there. So now we can grab this one and delete that. We won't need that anymore. And that's our cube file. Once you've done that, you can import it into your editing software. I'm gonna use Resolve first, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it in Premiere if you are a Premiere user. Okay, once you've got in there, you're gonna import your video files. I'm just gonna go to video, and I have this one here that I've used in previous videos. Let's go ahead and import that into our timeline. Let's find our hero shot here, right around there I think it was, and let's go into the color tab. Alright, so the next thing you want to do here is you're going to right click over here and you're going to say open file location. That's just the quickest and fastest way to import your LUTs in my opinion. We're going to go back one step, just going to make a new folder called LUT test. Inside that folder we're going to import your LUT convert that we've done and we're just going to move it right in there. The next thing you want to do is go over again, here again, right click, refresh. And there it is, LUT test. And by double clicking that, you can then apply it to your node. And there's your before and there's your after. Of course, as you know here, if we go to your key output, I usually put that to about 0.6 or 0.5 and it just brings down the intensity and it's a little bit better. All right, so for you Premiere users here, we're gonna go into here and the best page is gonna be just your color tab. Uh, once you import your files, let me just import that same file here. Once you have that there, you're going to go to your creative tab, not your input LUT. This is not an input LUT. This input LUT is for different things, um, such as if you're going to do a conversion LUT or something like that. We're going to go to the creative tab and go custom. Now you want to go to where you save that. We're going to import that and use this one. Just as simple as that. Once that loads up, you'll see it happen there. There's your before and there's your after. It's just as simple as that. And then we can turn the intensity down to about maybe 60%. And that looks a little bit better. I think I like that. And any other adjustments you want to do, you can do in the basic correction. Very similar to kind of a Lightroom panel. Uh, we can bring down that contrast and highlights and a little bit of shadows. And you can play around with that. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great week. Say bye-bye.